Hi, we're going to learn about decision structures. So, um, an example of a decision structure would be an if statement. Uh, you know, if then else. If uh, you know something happens, do this. Else, do this other thing. Uh, another example of a decision structure would be a loop. Uh, to review um, an if statement, we're going to use Alice. So, I'm going to open up Alice here, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an object. So, I'm going to add my good old friend, the bunny. Add an object to our world. Here we are. Here's the bunny. And I'm going to click done here. And I'm going to move this down. And let's bring it forward a little. So we have our bunny here in the world. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable. So I'm going to go to create new variable. I'm going to call my variable int number. And click OK here. So now I've got int number. I'm going to drag int number into my world. I'm just going to give it a temporary value of 1. And now I'm going to click on the world up here. I'm going to go to functions. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find ask user for number. I'm going to drag and drop this over to the 1. And instead of saying enter number, I'm going to choose other. I'm going to say enter 1 for a hop. Enter 2 for a turn. So we're going to create a program that uses an if-then-else statement here, and it's going to be based on whatever int number is. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this if-then-else statement into the uh, program here. I'm just going to choose true for now. So I'm going to drag int number into this uh, right here. So if int number equals 1, then I want it to do this stuff else I want it to do this stuff. So if they press 1 I want the uh, I want the the uh, bunny to hop. So I'm going to click on bunny here and I'm going to go to the bunny's methods. I'm going to say bunny move up half meter. I'm going to change the duration to uh, 0.25 seconds because I want I want the bunny to move pretty fast. I'm going to move this method in here. I'm going to say bunny move down half meter. This is going to give us the appearance that our bunny is jumping up and down. So I've written this part of the code. Uh, if the user enters 1, bunny, the bunny is going to jump up and down. Um, if the user presses 2 or anything other than 1, you could press 3 or 4, uh, then I want the bunny to turn. So I'm going to choose the bunny turn method. I'm going to drag this statement in here, bunny turn right two revolutions. And I want that to happen rather quickly. And I'm going to make them turn back the other way. Because why not? Bunny turn left two revolutions. And I want that to happen 0.25 seconds. So now uh, I've got my code here. And if I want to add a comment, I can put a comment right here. The code below uses uh, an if statement. I think we're good. So if I come up here I can click the play button and my world will run. So enter 1 for a hop, enter 2 for a turn. If I type 1, the bunny jumps up and down. If I click on restart here if I, and then hit 2, the bunny is going to turn around. So this was a quick, uh, quick example of uh, how we can use an if then else statement and this is a decision structure. So once, uh, so now that we've done our review um, using Alice, I would like to show you uh, an example of a Java program that uses um, an if-then-else statement. I'm just going to show you the code here. I'm not going to run the program. So right here, I've got two comments. It just says, uh, you know, this program uses an integer uh, for an if-then-else statement, and this program also is for the command prompt. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm importing the scanner class. Right here, I've got my um, my uh, class declaration. Inside this I've got my uh, method declaration. The first thing I do within my main method is I declare the variables. I'm declaring a variable called int number. The second thing I'm doing is I'm creating a scanner object to read the input. So the scanner object's name is keyboard. The next thing I'm going to do oops, there we go, is I'm going to display my name. So I'm printing it to the screen with this command. And then I want a blank line in between uh, uh, this command and the next question. So here I'm going to ask the user a question. I'm saying, 
Will you go outside today? Enter one for yes or two for no. I'm then going to grab that information using the keyboard.nextInt method. So I'm grabbing that uh, number with my next integer method here and I'm putting it into int number. And then I'm going to use this if then else statement. So here's an example of an if then else statement in Java. If int number equals one, and notice I've got parentheses around this statement, and I'm saying uh, whenever I use the equals sign, I have to use two equal signs, because this is the syntax that you have to use. So if int number equals one, then print to the screen, what a wonderful day. Else, print, seriously, get a life. So this right here is a basic, just a very simple example of an if-then-else statement in Java. So that's it today. We're just uh, you know, beginning our journey to uh, learn about uh, decision structures. Hope this was helpful, and we'll catch you next time.